What I wrote about always had political implications, and I suppose that came up out of, out originally out of my home life, you know, and, and my experience growing up, and my relationship with my father, and, and understanding, and trying to understand the concept of work, and how work plays a central role in your life. You know. I had two real, very, uh, very different examples. You know. My mother's relation to work was was very joyous, was very happy, you know, and provided the entire family with stability. And, and it, 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 what she gained from it was a, a, an entire mode of behavior. Well, you get up in the morning at a certain time, you, you prepare yourself, you get yourself ready to go to the job. And uh, you walk down the street, you know, and you're there at a particular time in the day. You know, and you interact with your coworkers, and that's a big part of your social life, and, and your work life and your place in the world. Uh, you know, you, you're doing something that has a purpose. You know, there's, there's a reason you're there besides just feeding your family. You know, you're, you're, you're a part of the social fabric. You know, you're, what's, you're what's holding the world together. You're what's holding your town together. It's what's holding your family together. Uh, and and I always remember she walked with tremendous pride and, and, and uh, strength, enormous strength. And, and it gave, it gave such great comfort, such great, great comfort. And I think my dad had different experiences. His work was involved with pain, you know. Uh, he lost his hearing when he worked in a plastics factory, he lost a lot of his hearing. He, he struggled to find work and to go to work, you know. Uh, it, 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 it led to a, uh, uh, the, the, the regulation of behavior that work provides uh, wasn't a big part of his life, you know, and that was painful, you know, for everybody involved. Um, uh, that's essential. That's central. That's central to the way that we live and think about ourselves and, 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 and who we are and, and, and the, the place we live in. And, uh, and so I, I saw both sides of it. I saw what happens when that's not present. There is pain <laughs> and there is anger and, and uh, deep, deep, uh, just a, it's a very it's a, it's a destructive force people you wither away you waste away you don't know where you're going or who you are and and you take that out on the people that you care about which is something you don't want to do you know but it happens so that's what i wrote about that was what i wrote about and um uh that was really really important it's the single thing i've written about my my entire life that fundamental idea the importance of that idea in society the cost of not providing that for whether it's for, for that people be able to take care of their families to have have productive jobs uh, the the debasement of ourselves you know uh, in, uh, in in not having a society where that's provided to all our citizens you know. uh, that was it, it all grew from there it grew from my experience and and and, and my trying to sort out my experience. I didn't grow up in a political household. I didn't have some particular ideology or be a particularly political person from where I came from, you know. But I needed and wanted to write about those things because I felt they were essential. So a lot of my music has grown out of that place over the years, you know. I didn't think I, I, I had a great talent at it. You know, I thought that I was somebody that was going to have to really work harder than the next guy, you know, to, to formulate my own ideas and my own, own vision. When I was a kid, I did work harder than everybody else. I felt that it was, it was something that, that I, need, I was going to have to work at very hard to, to do well. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go and leave you all alone? I got a bad desire. Oh, oh, oh I'm on fire. Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? And can he do to you the things that I do? Once I had a few records out, I wanted to play the songs that the fans wanted to hear, and I wanted to play all my new songs, too. We'd gotten used to playing three hours in, minimum three hours in a bar, 
And, and I wanted it to be an extreme experience also. I, I wanted it to be an experience that wasn't casual, that was somehow, uh, that, that pushed it to the limits. It pushed it to the limits. And, and so I wanted that extremist. And I wanted people to see, to be brought to some place and to come out of themselves. The writing is the, uh, it's the blueprint of, of what you're going to do. It's, it's the essence of your idea that you're going to try to communicate to your audience. And the show is, is taking that thing and, and uh, you expand, the, performing it and performing it well sort of expands its boundaries and, and its power and you flesh it out and, and uh, entertain people. I enjoy the writing a lot, you know. I mean, it's hard, and it's always hard to write a good song, so you, you always need to have a new idea of some sort. That's, that's the release that you feel after you've done the writing, and you come out, and you're finally face-to-face, -face and you're speaking to somebody. That's why you wrote that song. We did an unusual thing, and really, it's something that, I don't know if it ever quite existed previously, you know. Uh, in the sense that, that they allowed me to communicate, but they expanded the boundaries and the power of my music. I wanted to create that community on stage, and uh, uh, that was an essential part, I think, of what I communicated, and I could not have done it without their consistency and dedication. They just fueled you, fueled you on a nightly basis. You know, Clarence is always a long-standing a uh, source of, of positive energy and spirit. They took my music and, and, and made it present and real on a nightly basis. I think that they definitely, they need to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and, they, and I think the Hall of Fame needs to come up with a mechanism that somehow honors musicians. I think you tend to write about things that you're trying to sort out. You know, I think you're trying to write about things that you don't understand and you want to understand. And so you're, you're working on something to help you understand what that was all about. It comes out of that particular fire, you know. Uh, so I think that those are the things that, that carry and that you are always trying to, to put in context and make sense of. That's just the way that it goes, you know. We internalize everything and carry it with us. Gonna kill you.